As we come to this season of Lent and read again the parables in the Gospel of Luke, we might ask, why did Jesus tell stories like this? Eugene Peterson said that the parables were earthly stories with a heavenly meaning. I think that's so true about these stories that Jesus chose to tell in a way that restoried the world, that gave us an imagination for the kingdom coming and how we could actually be part of it. These two parables in the Gospel of Luke actually begin with suppose. Suppose um, there was a man, suppose there was a woman. These invite us to actually participate in this story, uh, to perform it as well um, in the way that we do our kingdom work, to be like Jesus. These particular parables in Luke are very important to me and in my own Christian journey. I remember our Sunday school teacher teaching us these stories, uh, helping us as young children to empathise with a shepherd who had 99 sheep but went after the one sheep that was lost. The woman who had nine coins in hand but went out to find in her house the one coin that she no longer had. I think the teacher had us go on bended knee on the church hall floor and actually experience what it might have been like for this woman to search after that one lost coin. It was a very powerful way of inviting us into this story. What do these stories teach us? They tell us about a God who, who treats us like the shepherd, who leaves 99 sheep that he already had in his pasture, leaves in an open country and goes out after the one sheep that had been lost. It teaches us about a God who is like the woman um, who had nine coins in hand but who goes out after the one coin that she no longer had. That she pursues this just like God pursues us. Um, just like the way that God gave all in sending Jesus and Jesus sacrificed all um, in taking on our sin and dying on the cross and rising again. These parables also tell us about rejoicing. They tell us about a God who in his very character rejoices. And when he does find that sheep after he'd pursued it, uh, he hoists the sheep up on his shoulders to celebrate. The woman who finds the coin and invites her neighbours in to rejoice over the one that had been lost but that was now found. These parables tell us so much about Jesus. They also tell us so much about the character of the God we follow. One who gives everything, who pours out himself, who cares about the lost and the marginalised and brings them back in, celebrates over us. These tell us so much of the way that we can do our own kingdom work that we can share the great news of Jesus with people, that we can prepare uh, for the celebration over the one who has been lost, is now found. Yes, there are the 99 sheep in the field, each one of them valuable, each one of them beloved, um, but that he will go out, um, putting them at risk at times to go out after the one who has been lost. Um, this is a great challenge for us as we do our kingdom work to think about what it means to prioritise the lost and marginalised. May we live into these stories this Lenten season.